I'm going to show you how to reorganize your EdShed account for the new academic year using the data method and or a CSV. Now this method is easiest if you have classes being mixed up for the next academic year or lots of pupils. So to do this we're going to go to the all pupils page, click new year wizard and select the data entry option. Now first of all as with the other step, we must delete the pupils who are leaving. You can select the class from the drop down, which is most likely to be year six, but you might have some leaving in other classes as well. So if you have a whole class, you simply click the top to highlight all of them and then click delete, or if it's singular, just one and then delete. I've already deleted my year sixes. Then we're going to follow the instructions on the top of the edit CSV page. First of all, we're going to download our current pupil CSV list. So this is going to download all of the pupils currently on the system and their information. Next, we're going to edit the spreadsheet and edit the groups column only. So now we'll open a spreadsheet that looks like this. The only column that we want to edit is the group column today. We're not going to touch any of the other columns. We don't need to. So automatically, this has been ordered in alphabetical order via first name here. What might make it easier is if we organise these by group. So to do that, just highlight this column. I'm not going to highlight the heading group because we just want the classes. And then we're going to click sort and filter just A to Z. And then we want to expand the selection so that the data outside of the highlighted column is also sorted because we want the names to move with the class as in this whole person's information here is going to be sorted together like this. So here we go. Now we have our classes all grouped together with the names of the children. So what you can do now is go through and edit this column. So change the classes, whichever their names might be, in here. Now, as I mentioned before, you might have some children being mixed into different classes. Um, so you have to go through and edit those like that. Once you're happy with that, you can then save this, make sure it's saved as a CSV. And we're going to go back to our previous window. So we've now edited our group fields. Next, we're going to remove all of our current pupils from their groups by clicking this button. Next, we're going to upload our new updated CSV for the new academic year. So these are just for the current pupils. We haven't done anything with new pupils yet because that's our next step. And you can see it's now been uploaded successfully. Now we're going to go on to our next part and upload our new pupils. So to do that you can download the sample CSV which will look like this and then you can populate this with your new starters. So you can put the name like what we just saw has been downloaded from the system, the group or class that they will be in. We also strongly recommend to upload the UPN numbers so that pupils don't ever get duplicated. Once you're happy with that and you've saved that with all your new information, you can then click in here and do the same and add your new pupils. Then once that has been uploaded successfully, then you can sort the teachers and groups. So here are all the groups that have been created which should be the ones that are in your CSV file. 
You can rename them if needed. You can edit the teachers associated with them. So your teachers may have moved around in the new academic year. So you can add teachers to the, those groups. If you've got new teachers starting your school, you can also add those here. Click add teacher and put their teacher email in. Once they are verified, you can then add them to the group in the groups page. So once you're happy with your name of your groups and the teachers attached to those, you can then allocate licenses. You can then allocate licenses. So click on the subscription that you would like to assign the licenses for. Here you can see those who have them already. If I click unassigned, I can check any pupils, probably those new pupils who don't have licenses just yet, and assign those. If you need to add extra licenses, go to the subscription part of the website, click the drop down by your subscription, and then upgrade. Click next and then close the new year wizard. And you'll be able to see here that all the pupils are in their new groups.